the video everywhere or record from webcam uh, function that's just been added to Blackboard in Service Pack 10 uh, is delightfully simple to use. So let me quickly demonstrate. Anywhere that you have the content editor with all the you know bold and links and so forth, um, which is present in items, discussion board posts, all sorts of places, including like in the Grade Center when you're writing comments back to students, you'll have this capability. Um, so very frequently the instructor can do this and even students can in the right places. Um, now there's a brand new button in the bottom toolbar that just says record from webcam if you point at it. Click that little thing which looks kind of like a red eyeballed webcam looking at you and it should pop up a window for you saying it wants to do some recording. Now it does require that you have a YouTube account. Um, if you don't have a YouTube account, go ahead and pause this and go sign up and make one. I'll wait. Um, okay, anyway, uh, in my case, I'm just going to tell it to sign up for YouTube and it does bring up another little screen here and see it even knows who I am. And I'm giving it permission to go ahead and use my YouTube account. And now it's waiting to do a recording. Now, if I wanted to use something I'd already put in YouTube, I could hop over to the Browse tab and pick among the videos that are in my uh, YouTube library already. But in this case, I want to record something new. Say record from webcam, and it uses Flash to do the recording. That's just the technology that YouTube uses. And I'm going to give it permission, and I'm even going to tell it to remember that I've given it permission to use my webcam and microphone. Okay, well, once uh, it actually loads up that flash component for the recording, uh, you would say start recording, and it's saying it really wants to use that to upload to YouTube, and then the recording process starts. You can see it's picking up the audio here, um, and Obviously, it's recording me. You can also see I'm recording this in December at, uh, with some Christmas decorations up in the background. Um, and so I would say my piece and then just hit stop recording. And then say to upload the proceeds of that recording to YouTube. It wants to know how I want to treat the video. In other words, do I want to have a player embedded in the screen or do I want to have a thumbnail? And Personally, I prefer to go with the thumbnail version because if you use embedded video and have too many of them on the same screen, it can cause technical problems. So I'll go with thumbnail and say insert, and it puts that there. And so now, in this case, I was adding an item, so I'm just going to add a little, call it test, and submit that. And you see that's how it shows up, and if I go to it like a student would with edit mode off, I can just click that link and off my recording area, it would bring up the video and I could review it. Of course, you just watched me record it, so there's no point in playing it back now. Um, and your students can do this, as I say, in the discussion board posts, uh, journals, wiki, whatever, any place where the students have that content editor, and every place that you as an instructor has that content editor, you can easily, quickly record uh, your content in YouTube and have it embedded right in the screen. Now, let me just show you real quick what it looks like on the YouTube side of things. This is the recording that I just did. This is a failed attempt I made a few moments ago. And the beauty of this is I can now do all the normal things I might do in YouTube and uh, you know rename it change it around and it's still going to just work in the blackboard course when i'm done and of course if what you want is students to easily record a presentation all they really need is a webcam and the new record from webcam function called video everywhere